Welcome to the demonstration on performing a firmware upgrade using TFTP on Ruckus ICX switches. Before performing a firmware upgrade, it's always a best practice to go ahead and check the release notes and make sure that you can upgrade directly from the version you're currently running to the version you're hoping to upgrade to. And so before you do that, you want to take a look at your version using the show version command on the switch. So the show version, we can see here, we are running, we booted from the primary, and we're running the SPS08030H.bin file. So this is the switch code. We can tell by the third letter in the file name, the SPS tells us it's switch code. And we also have a boot monitor, a boot ROM image, that's 10.1.06. So I happen to know currently that 10.1.06 is the latest, it's the correct one. Uh, for this version and the correct version for the version we're going to upgrade to which is 08040 Charlie so we're going to go ahead and go through a few things but before we do an upgrade um, one of the best practice methods for upgrading is to upgrade to the partition of the flash that you're not using to boot from currently and copy the image into that partition then boot from that partition, make sure everything works well for you, and then copy it over to the primary partition in this case. So what we'll do for an upgrade process is we'll copy to the secondary partition, we'll boot up to that partition, and we'll make sure everything's operational. And then once it is, I'll show you how to copy what's in the secondary partition over the primary, and make sure that you boot from that the next time the system boots. So let's check out our flash. We use the show flash command, and in here you can see in my primary partition is the code we booted from, SPS 08030H. And in the uh, secondary partition, we've got the SPR 08030H. So that's the router code. We're going to go ahead and replace that uh, with the code we're going to copy from TFTP. Again, Typically, you don't have to upgrade the boot code. Uh, I know that we are at the current boot code. Uh, there are very few occasions that you will need to go ahead and perform that upgrade. Uh, but, you know, do make sure you look at your release notes and make sure that the version you have is appropriate for the version of code you're running. Um, because if they do ever put out an upgrade for the boot monitor image, it's probably something very important for that code you're running. So uh, let's go ahead and just walk through that process anyway, just because we can, and I can show you how we'd perform a boot code upgrade on, on the switch. So all of these are done with a copy command, and it's done from the privileged exec mode, which is the host name and the pound sign for the prompt. So not done from config mode, but back out at privileged exec mode. So we're going to copy, and we're going to copy, this is the from that we want to copy from. So we can copy from an external USB disk, we can copy from Flash, we can copy from SCP, or we can copy from TFTP. So we're going to use TFTP here. So next we're going to supply where we're copying to. So in this case we're going to copy to the Flash. Okay, so we're going to copy from TFTP to the Flash, and it's going to ask us next, where is that TFTP server? So it's on in my lab, that TFTP server is 10.10.200.100. So now, next we need a file name. The file name for the boot code is SPZ10106. bin. Okay, so we've got our copy command. We've got from TFTP to flash, the TFTP server's IP address, and the file name. And now we need to tell it where on the flash this is going to go to. And because this is boot code, we're going to want to copy this to the boot ROM. And from here, we just hit return, and it will start copying. So notice it copies to the buffer first. And then from the buffer, it synchronizes that image to the flash. Uh, so now we've gone ahead and overwrote the boot code that exists on the switch now with basically the same code, but I wanted to see you, have you see the process of performing that boot code upgrade. So now let's go ahead and upgrade the firmware in the secondary flash to the SPS08040C version. So that's still a copy, TFTP, flash, and again, uh, this is going to be our TFTP server. And then we're going to supply the file name. The file name for this is SPS 
0.08040c.bin. So this is the file name uh, that we're going to be copying. This is switch code version 08040charlie. And we're going to copy this to the secondary. So we can copy to primary or secondary, but primary is the is the space we booted from right now, and we want something to fall back to just in case there's an error or an issue with the copy or something wrong with this particular version of code on this switch. So we copy to the secondary so that we can make sure we have something to fall back to in case there's a problem. So we're going to copy that to the secondary, and this will run. This process takes a little while to run. It takes a little bit to download. Again, it copies it to the buffer, and then after it copies it to the buffer, then I'll put it into the secondary flash partition. Okay, looks like that's done. So uh, we've copied that to the secondary flash and we can confirm that with the show flash command. So in the show flash, we can see here that in the secondary flash, we have SPS 08040 Charlie. So we're, we're good to go. So now what we want to do is we want to boot into that secondary and make sure that the image is operational and everything's fine with our switch. So we do that with the boot system flash secondary command. Yes, we're sure. Yes, we're fine with the config and we'll reload. Okay, we're back up and we can uh, get in and run the show version command again to ensure that we booted properly. Um, so we have booted from the secondary and we're running the SPS 08040C version of code. So it looks like everything went well. Uh, since we booted up fine and everything looks fine, the next step would be, once we feel good about the code, would be to copy from our secondary flash over to our primary flash. So that's done with the copy flash flash command. Now with this, the options are primary or secondary related to this image update. So we would want to copy from the secondary to the primary. So the word we would use here would be primary. And we'd copy flash flash primary. And that would take what's in the secondary, which is the 8040C, and copy that into the primary flash. And so the next time we boot, it'll boot up off this new version of image. Now, another important thing to note about this upgrade process is this was a single unit. If this were a stack, um, doing this update process, this copy TFTP flash, uh, would update all units in the stack at once. So uh, this, this single action of doing this this upgrade process would update the entire stack for you. So uh, our demonstration only showed a single unit, but just know that that's a possibility. So that's updating the firmware on an ICX switch using the TFTP process. Thank you for viewing this demonstration. Hope you come back for more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.